We light this chalice for the light of truth. We light this chalice for the warmth of love. We light this chalice for the energy of action. Treasure Stones Story by Janine K. Groshmeyer In a time not so long ago, and in a place not so far away, there lived a boy named Arthur Lismer. Arthur always had a pencil in his pocket, because Arthur loved to draw. Arthur drew clouds. He drew birds. He drew flowers and many other beautiful things. But most of all, Arthur loved to draw stones. Why are you drawing a boring old stone? His friends would ask. They're just gray. They're just rocks. Stones are beautiful, Arthur told them. Just look, some stones have gold flecks, some have tiny crystals. In the rain, a stone can change color. In the sunshine, it can sparkle. Every stone is a treasure. Every stone is beautiful. Just look. Arthur would draw pictures anywhere, anytime. He drew in the morning at the breakfast table. He drew during lunchtime at school. He drew on moonlit nights outside surrounded by trees. He even drew on Sundays in church. Put that away, his mother would tell him. And so Arthur would close his sketchbook and put his pencil in his pocket. And he would listen to the minister at the Unitarian Chapel in Sheffield. But sometimes during the service, he would still be thinking about drawing. When Arthur was 13, he went to a special school for artists. After he graduated, he sold his drawings to people, but he didn't make very much money at it. So when he was 26 years old, he decided to leave England and sail across the Atlantic Ocean, all the way to Canada. The trees and the flowers and the animals in Canada were all new to Arthur, and all of them were beautiful. He traveled to many places, going to the mountains and the prairies and the lakes and rivers of that great land, painting pictures of the things that he saw. People liked his pictures. They liked seeing the world through his eyes. Most people hadn't traveled very far, and Canada is a very big country. Arthur's pictures were like windows into a new world. In his pictures, people could see many beautiful things. A church and houses surrounded by fields of grain, a river of snow flowing down a mountainside. A tree bending in the wind, and above it little white clouds following each other across the sky like ducklings in a row. Many people bought Arthur's pictures to put in their homes. People put his pictures in schools and in offices and even on stamps. Five years after Arthur came to Canada, he became a teacher in an art school. On Saturdays, he taught classes in a museum showing people of all ages how to create art. And on Sundays, he taught children at his Unitarian church. Let's go outside, he would say. Let's see what we can find. Let's see. I found a stone, a little girl said one day. It's just gray. Let's see, Arthur said. He turned the rock over so they could see all the little spidery lines in the cracks. It's like a map, the little girl said. Turning the stone back over, Arthur licked his finger to get it wet. Then he rubbed his finger on the little stone. The stone turned pink and then purple and then gray again. It's like a rainbow, the little girl said. Then Arthur took out his pencil from his pocket. He always carried a pencil. 
and he drew two small dots, one on each end of the stone, and then a long curving line on the other. It's like a mouse, the little girl said. Then sunshine came in and the rock began to sparkle. Now it's silver and gold, she said. It's like treasure. It is treasure, Arthur told her. The little girl nodded. She held the stone that was a rainbow and a mouse and a map and a treasure tightly in her hand. It's my treasure stone, she said. I can see that now. Space around you. And we're going to start with our little chant from last week, our little chant. Ang Namo Guru Dev Namo, which means I bow down to the teacher within me. Ready? Ang Namo. Guru chin is slightly in and we're gonna imagine a golden cord of energy that's coming from our sit bones right here all the way down into the center of the earth and in the center of the earth is this great big fireball of energy and we're gonna take this energy this beautiful golden energy up from the center of the earth all the way back up through our sit bones through our spine up through our neck filling us up with all this beautiful golden energy and light, going through the top of our head, going up into the heavens and reaching a star. And every time we take a breath, we're going to breathe in this beautiful golden energy, which is going to fill us with light and protection. <sighs> we're going to breathe in nice and deep from our bellies. Now we're going to do some little warm-up exercises. So we're going to hold on to our um, shins right here and we're going to do a spinal flex. So we're going to go forward with our spine and back, forward and back, breathing deeply. Wonderful. Now come into rock pose. So we're, we're leaning, we're kneeling on our bums. We're really, and oh, let me turn this way so you can see. And we're going to do our camel ride. So here we are again with our spine forward and back. Riding through the desert on our camels, warming up our spines. Come back into easy pose and we're going to imagine the strings on our shoulders again. The puppeteer is lifting up our shoulders. And then hold it whether our shoulders are up, glued to our ears, holding the breath and release. Wonderful. Now we're going to imagine the pencil on the top of our head and we're going to draw a big circle with that pencil. So our head comes down to our, our chin, reaches our chest and then we're going to draw that big circle. How are you doing? Ow. It hurts a little bit. Yeah, be very gentle, slow and gentle. And then when you're ready, you can change direction. Wonderful. 
wonderful. Okay, now we're ready to do some of our postures that we did last week. Do you remember we did the cat cow where we all got on our four on all fours? And then we lifted up our spine like a cat stretching, and then our spine comes down like a big fat cow. So up we go with our spine like a stretched cat, and then relax your tummy muscles like a cow, and then this cat, cow. Cat, cow, breathing all the time, and you can go faster as you get used to it. Remembering to do those lovely deep breaths. And this is the cobra. So we're gonna stretch out on the ground, and we're gonna have our hands by our shoulders. We're gonna lift up, and we're gonna go like cobras. So we're going to release any tension or bad feelings or worries with that hiss. We love all the people of the planet and all of the living beings everywhere. And this is May the Long Time Sun Shine Upon You. May the long time sun shine upon you, all that's around you. And a pure light within you guide your way on, guide your way on, guide your way on. So Thank you, everyone. Hi, today's art project is painting rocks. You can find these rocks anywhere on any of the beaches around Santa Barbara. We went to Hendry's and we picked up about 20 rocks. And the first thing you should do before you even paint is wash them. There's nothing worse than getting sand in your paint and it kind of messing up your clear design. Um, and have a design in front of you um, of what you're going to do. Um, I'm going to do a rainbow, which is um, a symbol of hope, um, which we did in our fourth lesson after lockdown. Um, so yes, we're going to paint some rainbows. Um, I'm going to start with some yellow paint. Um, any kind of paint is good. Acrylic is the best um, because it won't wash off so much. So if you do use a water-based paint, um, some of you picked up your packages from USSB and, um, and in there were some watercolour paints. Um, so what you could do is um, use those. Um, and if you haven't got any paints at all, then there are a lot of fruit and vegetables that have a dye in them. Uh, for example, um, you'd get a lovely purple from beetroot um, possibly a good indigo from um, your uh, blueberries or blackberries. Um, I don't know if you remember, but when we did the lesson on um, rainbows, Dylan made a fruit rainbow um, with strawberries, raspberries, um, orange, um, lemon, lime, um, and some, what else did we use? Um, red, orange, le lemon, lime. And then we used blackberries and blueberries and made the colours of a rainbow. Um, so I'm going to paint a sun to begin with. Um, any old brushes are fine as well, um, depending on how sort of intricate you'd like your stone to be. Um, I'm just going to pick up a few that um, I've made. Um, some we actually sent to you, you already. So if you look in the fountain garden, then you'll see um, lots and lots of uh, stones from new SSB congregants. Okay, so I'm going to get busy painting this. I've started with my sun at the bottom, and then I'm going to make all the colours of the rainbow afterwards. So I'll catch you in a bit when I've finished, and I'll show you some finished stones. Okay, see you in a bit. 
Okay, so I've now finished the uh, rainbow that I wanted to do. Um, and it was just simply painting straight onto the rock um, in kind of centimeter um, width lines into a kind of curved shape. And just remember that the colors of the rainbow are red, orange, yellow, red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, violet and then there's a little sun at the bottom. Nice and pretty, nice and hopeful, and nice and bright. And I did do one here before, which has the word the hope written on it in the colours of the rainbow. Um, what else did I want to show you? You can do a fun one. Um, Dylan did a nice little hot dog for me there. Um, mistake it for eating, but um, soon take a bite and it wouldn't feel very nice. Um, and then we've got this um, painting that I've discovered called Mandala. Um, and that's just a sequence of dots um, around. I don't know if you can see that a bit better there. Just a sequence of dots with dots around the dots. Um, it's quite therapeutic, um, but it looks quite pretty. Um, and my husband had a go with one called Love, a very 60s hippie version. Um, nice bright colours and um, I love the kind of black and white swirling there. Um, Dylan did a palm tree, sunset on the water. Um, yes, so that's a few more yu yu rocks. We've got a nice yin yang there. Um, another fun one there with an M&M &M bitten off. So you can have lots and lots of fun. This took us at least three afternoons. Um, I see there he's done an American flag. Um, yes, yeah, so if you fancy a, a little afternoon in to paint some rocks, then um, give it a go. Okay, have fun. Bye! And this time we're, we're having to keep space between us um, as we reimagine our own spiritual practices. Uh, I'd like to offer this song as a, a, a spiritual meditation. Um, it's filled with loving kindness. It's a Buddhist meditation that was set to music by Mark Hayes. It has one word that changes three for three verses. The word is I, that changes to you, that changes to the word we. So I'm going to give like uh, uh, hand motions to it. So when I sing the word I for the whole song, I'm going to hold my hands here. When I sing you, I'm going to offer the song to you. And then when I sing we, I'm going to just lift my hands up. You choose what you want to do, how it works for you as you discover it and then reimagine our spiritual practices. 